this big question, this is the most fundamental of human existence. Are we alone? Up until about five years ago, if you asked where would we look for life, you know, how would we search for life, the notion of searching for life usually revolved around Earth-like planets. But five years ago, what happened was that we came up with this concept. We said, why don't we just explore the entire space of possible internal structures that could explain the observed mass and radius of this planet K218b. The planet had been discovered a few years before then, around 2015-2016 time frame. We found that you can explain it in many different ways. But the most interesting is that a small number of those solutions did allow for liquid water on the surface of a planet. And then we called them Haitian worlds because the planets would have hydrogen-rich atmospheres and ocean-covered surfaces. The combination of ocean and hydrogen is what made the word Haitian. So by early 2023 is when our uh, first observations were being made of K218b. The method we use uh, for these observations is called transmission spectroscopy. What this involves is looking at the starlight as the planet goes in front of the star. Light from the star passes through the atmosphere of the planet before reaching the telescope. So if you take this spectrum, you see fingerprints of the molecules in the planet's atmosphere because some molecules absorb more in some wavelengths than others. So based on that fingerprint, you can tell which molecule is actually present in the planet's atmosphere. And then we look at it. And for the first time, we see a spectrum with multiple peaks, multiple molecular features. So very quickly, we figured out that we were seeing carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of a habitable zone planet. And to top that, we were seeing a faint signal of a molecule, potentially, uh, of a molecule called dimethyl sulfide. Now, what is dimethyl sulfide? One of the most dominant sulfur-based compounds that microbes in, on Earth and Earth's oceans produce is DMS, is dimethyl sulfide. So it doesn't take too much of a stretch of imagination to say, well, if you have a whole ocean world, the, and if it has life, then that would be a natural thing to look for. And here we are, with the first observations, we are already seeing hints of that molecule. There is no abiotic process known on Earth that makes these molecules. So that's what we uh, published in 2023. JWST, the James Webb Space Telescope, has been fundamental to uh, enable this discovery. So this is the largest space-based telescope we have ever built, um, especially in the infrared. That opens a whole new window into the universe at much higher sensitivity than ever been possible, which means we can see much fainter things uh, in the cosmos, but also much broader wavelength range than has been possible before. So we went ahead and made an observation uh, with the MIRI uh, instrument on JWST in 2024. In our previous observation, we observed from between one to five micron, and we were able to see some of these molecules. But now we went ahead and observed in an entirely different wavelength range with a different instrument on JWST. And we were seeing features again. DMS is only one of them. The other one is DMDS. It's called dimethyl disulfide, which is also a biomarker on Earth. It is mind-boggling if you think about it. We clearly see peaks that the only way we can interpret them right now is that they are either from DMS or DMDS or both. Now the result uh, is at a three sigma level of confidence right now. Statistically, if you want to put the odds on it, I would say 
you can safely say we are over 95% confident. But in science, we don't want to just be 95% confident, we want to be 99.9999% confident. So then you need more and more observations. But even if we get only two more observations, you could go to four or five sigma event detection and then it becomes much, much more robust. So it is very much possible that what we are seeing uh, could be um, a biomarker. However, we also want to be extremely cautious in associating what we are seeing with a definitive proof for life elsewhere. This is just the beginning of the journey. Uh, we cannot make that claim just yet. We need more efforts both on observational and theoretical uh, directions to be able to robustly establish what we are seeing is due to whether from life or not. Nevertheless, this discovery has initiated uh, us on this new path, a new era in the search for life elsewhere. And I think this is a major triumph uh, for us as a species.